Okay, so spreadsheet task two is football scores. Now, this means this is actually meant to be AFL football. So keep in mind that one goal equals six points. I know that seems simple, but some people don't actually know. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be keeping track of two football teams. Um, you need to keep to um, display the total score of the game as it's unfolding. And you need to also identify the uh, points and score by each team per quarter. So you can, at the end of the game, say, well, this is the score and the breakdown quarter by quarter. Um, you also need to calculate the average goals scored per quarter. That's across the game. Um, and maximum, minimum, and so on. Extension, I'm not going to worry about all this stuff. right? However, I am going to do the counter buttons. Um, because that's actually a really in, uh, interesting part to go by. So here I've already set up my format. You can set it however you want, but I've already given you a copy of this to make it easier. Um, so here I've got quarter one, home, the home team, their goals, points and scores, and away team. Now, because a goal there's six points, then if I have one goal, I want this score to change. So what I've got is, I've got a formula here. Uh, my formula is I write in here equals this cell, so that means that whatever I'm putting in the goal, it's that one, times, now for times in Excel we use a star, times by six, so that means one goal times by six to give six points, plus a point, a uh, number of points. All right, so a moment, it's, it's zero. Now I can rewrite that one over here, or I can go copy, paste. What you'll see is though, it's now, and if I click up here, it'll tell me what I'm doing. So I'm saying that times six plus six, uh, plus the points. So when you copy and paste, it actually co it actually copies the cell. So from here, it's saying two to the left times six plus one, plus this one. Here I'm saying two to the left times six plus one. So that's my score. So that's a tally, uh, oh, sorry, a uh, calculation. Now down here, basically what I want to do is the end of each quarter, I want to copy and paste it in. So say in the first quarter, I've got a one, one goal one versus two goals two. Then, and that's the end of the first quarter. Then I want to copy this and paste that in down here. Okay, and then say this goes to two goals three and four goals four. Then at the, at the end of the second quarter, then I want to copy this and paste it in here and so on. Oops, copy, paste. That's weird. Copy, paste, done, All right, All right, and so on. Now, I've done here a sum, so I've basically said add up this as I go along. I don't really want to do that because that's total. I just want this to be equal. Yeah, I actually don't want that to be a total. That's total of goals kicked. So that's that's actually a wrong cell. Right. However, I do want to have the breakdown of how many goals I kick. So here I'm on two goals three, but how many goals did I kick in the second quarter? So if I go down here, I've got down this one, I can basically just say whatever the first quarter is, make it the same. So I go equals the first quarter. Okay, here I go equals the points for the first quarter. So and just so on. Okay, if I copy this, it's going to be the same. Now, the second quarter, I want it to be equals this one, so equals the second quarter, take away whatever I was on in the first quarter. Now, notice I've done the second quarter, take the one above it. All right, same thing here. So I can copy and paste this across. I'm just going to bold these in ones. Okay, because now I can do the same thing again. If I copy this one, C13, so the one above it, oh sorry, C13, so it's up here, take away the one above it. So if I copy this and paste it down, it now will say equals C14, so the one above it, take away how many goals have we been here. Now this won't make sense at the start, right? but I can, I can do my fill across and copy and paste it down. And the total, I now I'm going to do sum. So do a sum, equals sum, open bracket, and add all these ones above it, end drag this across. All right. Problem is, is if I actually change these back to zeros, oops, so I'm changing this to a zero, 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 zero. Don't need to change the ones in the end. All right, so as I put first quarter in, it's just going to cycle through backwards and forwards. So I'm going to change this slightly. 
So basically, this is just going to be equals this one and so on. This one, I really want to put in an if statement. Now this is a bit bit special. Uh, so an if statement says, I'm writing if bracket if this one equals zero. So if c thirteen equals zero, then all I want to do is put is put zero. Otherwise, then I can do my calculation. So it means that if there's nothing there, I don't put anything. All right, copy this across, copy this down. All right, now let's have a look what happens. All right, so here, I remember it was one goal one to two goals two at the end of the first quarter. So I'm going to copy that and put it in here. So there's my tally, there's the next one. This is not working out because it's saying, well, there's nothing in there yet. If I go to two goals three to four goals four, like I had it for the second quarter, copy, paste, all right, so now it's only doing the same. Now notice that this is going to be the same as this one, all right, so say they keep on going, three goals six to six goals six, end of the third quarter, copy, paste, okay. And finally, fourth quarter, let's go say it's four goals, 10 to eight goals, eight. All right, and copy and paste. All right, we can see here. Now, as I said, I don't actually want this. I'm gonna delete this because I don't want a total. That's a mistake. Right here, my final score, 34 to Hmm, that doesn't look right. Let's have a look. Sum of 20 to 23, yes. So there was one, to, no, there's a mistake there. C14. Then do C14, take two, so it's on three. Oh, okay, so there's a mistake as well. I actually want to do, fix this. So this should be, C. take that one, not the one above it. Right, so my mistake. So I can drag this up here and do C13. Takes so that one take the one above it. Right now it should be right. Copy across. Copy down. Copy down. Right there we go. 34, 56. Correct. Right now. So this is an if statement. If statements, uh, if statements the same as remember we did an if then loop um, in Scratch, so this is the same thing in uh, Excel. The other thing I'm going to do is I actually want to put in some buttons here. So you need your developer tab added. So if I go Excel preferences view, and down here it says in ribbon show developer tab. So this is now how. So this now allows me to put in a whole heap of extra things. So I'm going to put in to start off with a spinner. All right, so just in here, I'm going to put in up there. Just set all these things back to zero. I also need to set all these back to zero. Copy them down and copy across, and we're all ready to go again. Okay, now I've got this. I want to right click on this button and go format control. Now, format says, first of all, uh, the current value is zero, but I need to link it to a cell, so I'm going to link it to the cell above it. Just have to click like that. All right, so it says, okay, its current value is zero, min minimum value is zero, maximum value, so most number of goals, let's say 100, and it goes up by one. I go, okay, so now, oops, now when I'm scoring, I don't have to change this, I can just go click, okay, and notice that scores come out. I'm going to put in all my other buttons in here as well. So I'll just do that quickly. Okay, um, I don't need this tally. Two. All right. I'm going to go and edit these now. Link that one. Okay, and let's say most of it's 100 points. Do this one as well. So this is just repeating it. Link it to here. 100 goals, and last one, 100 points, link to here, okay, done. All right, so now my score, I can just put in like so.
made a mistake and go backwards. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to do the other one. The other one's a macro, which is quite difficult. Uh, the macro, I want, um, I'm going to put it here, first goal, second goal, third goal, so on, which I've done out here. So now I can go, okay, first quarter, uh, one goal, two, or to two goals, two. And then I can go end first quarter. And you can see it's automatically copying and pasting things for me. In second quarter, same thing, it puts in the right spot. All right, third quarter, fourth quarter, reset. Okay, now if you can do that, I'd be very impressed. That is working above standard. The other thing we've got out here is average goals per quarter. All right, you can see here I'm averaging how many goals I kick. So the formula for that is just equals average bracket and just highlight what I want, not including the total. Now we could also do total divided by four. This is a nicer way of using averages. Uh, average points is going to be the same thing, but as you can see, I'm working on the, on the points area. Minimum amount of goals, I use the formula min, right? So min uh, looks for the lowest number, all right? Maximum is going to be the uh, uh, the maximum amount of goals, so maximum points, minimum points, and so on. Minimal scoring shots is a bit different. So here, I'm going, look at all these and tell me, oh, sorry, look at the minimum, so the first one is D, C20 plus D. So number of scoring shots for each quarter, and looking at the minimum number of scoring shots across for each quarter. So if I get one goal two, or two goals one, well, it's the same thing. If I kick uh, 10 goals versus one point, well, obviously the one point is the minimum scoring shots. Equally, the maximum scoring shots is the other one. Okay. Again, these are much these are much harder things for you to work out. But they do come in handy later on when you're doing budget. But apart from that, I think we've covered everything. All right. So good luck. If you are working at a higher level, you're going to be aiming to try and get these extra macros to, designed. These can be found up here, and then you can add in a button, and, and so we can record a macro of what you want to do. And add a button and assign it. Alright, good luck.